is we got polling numbers out of the New York Times uh, having Trump ahead in these swing states. The Times doesn't know what to do with them. They're all in shock. They're in denial. But we got big races coming up tomorrow in Pennsylvania as well. Can you highlight some of the big ones? Mainly Supreme Court, Doug. Yes. So there's four significant court races statewide. So whether you're voting in Erie or Philly or anywhere in between, these names will be on the ballot. <clears throat> and it's kind of strange. So like for Superior Court, which is a key court that, that often ruled in the favor of the Constitution, they'll ask you whether you want to retain a couple members or vote in new members. You get to pick two. And you got to vote in the, the two Republicans. Otherwise, we'll lose that court. And of course, that's the... Maria Batista and Harry Snail and Smail. and uh, so vote for those two. Next one is Commonwealth Court, which is a step right before our state Supreme Court. Uh, that has traditionally been conservative. If we lose a seat, it won't be anymore. So we have to win, and that's our good friend Megan Martin. She was uh, working in the Senate for many years. I, I knew her there. She's a person of honor and integrity. So Megan Martin for Commonwealth Court, and then finally, as you mentioned, this is one of our few chances to make headway in the Pennsylvania State Supreme Court, which is ruling constantly against us. And that, that's uh, Carluccio. You want to vote for Carlu Carluccio for Supreme Court. If we don't take that seat, it'll be 10 years before we have a chance again of taking the Supreme Court in the state of Pennsylvania. I think Caroline Carluccio is a great candidate. I've had her on my show, I think, three times. Uh, she's very articulate. Um, She's without a doubt a constitutional conservative, no question about that. And they're telling me that that race is tied. Uh, but, you know, you, you have to think with the momentum that Republicans have based on some of these polls that have come out that uh, she has a shot. Also, there's a big race for county executive in uh, Allegheny County. I'm mentioning that because that's where I live in yep. Pittsburgh. Joe Ruckey running for that. Against basically a communist. I mean, this, yep. the, the people yep. the Democrats are putting up are like, they're crazy people. I mean, they're bat crap cr cr crazy. His opponent's a communist. And the only issue she's, she's running on is, guess what, Doug? Abortion. The county executive of Allegheny County has nothing to do with abortion. They don't make decisions on that. They decide on zoning, on your taxes, right, on the school budget. They don't make decisions on abortion, yet that's the only ad she's had on. Like, how do they think this is going to work, Doug? Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, it worked for them yesterday. You know, abortion for governor in Pennsylvania. Governor doesn't have a lot of say in that as well, but yet that was my opponent's uh, number one issue that you constantly you know, heard I was being beat up on. It's a legislative issue, and obviously the governor, his say would be a veto or not. So I don't know how it's going to work out, but John, I, I'm heartened by the uh, the polls and the assessment we're getting from Barris and other groups out there. It's it's real gains across the entire nation. You know, last year there was a lot of speculation and postulation, really without without a strong basis of this red wave coming in, which we didn't see in Pennsylvania or Michigan or Arizona. You know, just just go down the list here. New York, there was so much effort, so much time, but this is special. I mean, we, we've seen the polling here on how the, how the Biden administration is collapsing our economy and destroying our nation and our culture with this open border. Uh, we're on the precipice of war here. And so people are awake. So everything, you know, all of our talk today is for naught if you don't get, if you haven't voted already by mail-in in Pennsylvania, we have like mail-in month and half almost. Uh, you please get out tomorrow. The polls open in Pennsylvania at 7 a.m. They close at 8 p.m. Just come out and if there's not going to be huge lines, it's a judicial election. Plus, it's a local election. It's, it's a, as you rightly mentioned, you know, you, you have what's going on in Allegheny County. Every county, you get to vote for your commissioners or your your city borough. Um, there's a couple good candidates in Gettysburg that I hope will be able to beat out the folks that shut down the city during the, the big 2020 COVID when Governor Wolf, our then governor, you know, with uh, Dr. Levine, shut down uh, the state and, and municipalities such as Gettysburg obeyed and followed. In Gettysburg, you think it'd be a, a heartbeat of conservatism. It's not. So if the people of Gettysburg, for instance, would get out the vote, you could take your local government back, and that affects your life directly. It's, it's not about these big issues that they want to throw at you. It's about the local issues.